I think the best way to characterize the Cold War is um, as 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 the last phase in a in a battle um, of Western intellectualism um, played out played out on a global scale, and um, the reason I I I say that it, that it is a battle um, between different intellectual currents in the West is because even though um, many countries around the world uh, that are not part of the West uh, absorbed the ideologies of Marxism and Leninism and socialism and communism, these are Western intellectual currents. And this this battle really began with the French Revolution, um, you know, and the ideas of... Uh, uh, equality and fraternity and um, there's one more that I forget equality fraternity uh, anyhow um, and and then uh, socialism um, came to the fore in the West in the 19th century and um, there's been many many um, currents within the socialist movement but but basically, um, you know, it, it evolved and, and it came to power um, as, 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 as Leninism in the, in the Soviet Union. And, and, and the, this, this ideological conflict uh, uh, was played out on a global scale. And, and Western liberalism vanquished fascism which which is another uh western uh ideological construct about how men should live um and it it, it vanquished um it vanquished uh communism um i don't many people say that um that the only the the only victorious western ideology at the end of the Cold War and at the end of this millennium is neoliberalism. Uh, I think socialism is not dead, ideologically speaking, but I think throughout this century, um, you know, throughout the Cold War, uh, socialism in a particular form of power, because it was defeated and, 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 and because um, there haven't been any other alternatives for people to see, uh, for many people, it is hard to imagine uh, uh, that that socialism has any 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 life left to it. Uh, I think it does. Uh, it's just that that as a form of uh, of poli- of social and political power, it has been it has been defeated, uh, and that's I think that's what the Cold War was about. Um, not not so much about leaving one social ideology victorious, but simply about proving that some ideologies, uh, when they take a certain form of power, uh, are not feasible or are not um, do not work out in reality the way they they, they were supposed to work out, uh, you know. And uh, the Cold War, in that respect, is uh, is an eighty-year struggle uh, since the Russian Revolution.